Welcome, my peace, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. So you guys let me know if you actually are watching, you know, the challenge stars versus champs by hitting that like button or leaving a comment. It'd be greatly appreciated. So let's talk about the challenge season 31, episode two, the final dirty. And we start off with Josh. Basically, he's playing pool and he believes that Sean and cam or his allies his peoples on the star team so i don't know if that's gonna hurt him but he said he wants to go to the end with them two ladies so it seems like people are developing teams and he was just man enough to say it right <laughs> and so let's move on to arianne arianne is not having any success with people she feels like you know she doesn't have any allegiance she doesn't have any ties with anyone she doesn't know whether that's gonna help her or hurt her in the end she seems like you know she's not getting along with people and she's not building any type of relationships it doesn't even seem like she really have conversations with people only other person i seen her talk to was corey but she has talked to other people but like she was more open with corey so is she um based her friendship on something sexual or they have to you know like her in a, in a physical way i don't know but it's really hard to get her personality and see how she actually fits in because it just seems like she's not making any friends anywhere. And so we get Zach and um, Jenna. Basically, they have reunited. Jenna is like, he's single. I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. She wants to get him back. You know, Zach feels like, yo, she's the best, best ex-girlfriend ever in the world because no matter how he dogs or do her wrong, she's there for him. So maybe one day they might get married because Jenna is still in love with Zach and she wants to be with him and all that other good stuff. And she's so happy that he's here. You could tell that she's happy that he's there. And we also find out that, you know, she gives him a hickey because when he talks to Justine the next morning, morning he's telling justine hey look this is how i'm a champion because of my muscles and he goes oh bananas put that hickey on me but we know jenna put that hickey on him because he carried her to the room or inside the building after they had the little birthday thing because it was zach's birthday and so jenna is really trying to rekindle this relationship and she also says that you know when she's not around she's out of sight out of mind for zach and like he'll move on he'll forget about her quickly quickly in a heartbeat but she realizes that so it's good that she does know that so you know she knows what she's getting herself into and she knows she's setting herself up for heartbreak she's not that dimwit but she likes him and the heart won't the heart wants what the heart wants that's it that's what it is whether it hurts or whether it doesn't hurt and you know some of us might bend in relationships like that where we know this person is no good for us they don't mean us any good but we like the chemistry that we have together and you 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 basically keep going until all the wheels fall off. You ride this wagon until the wheel falls off where there's no more communication, no more talking, no more nothing. But it seems they're always going to probably be in communication because they are on the MTV franchise of the challenge. So she wants him. And he and he can have her or not. It doesn't really bother him. But when she's around, like she said, he's attracted to her and he pays her attention. So hopefully he just doesn't dismiss her, you know? And so then we get, you know, um, T.O. T.O. and Johnny Bananas. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, T.O., he's talking. He's working out with Matt. And he's talking about he doesn't want to talk to any of the other team. He doesn't want to talk to the champs. It's done for them after Corey dissed him and disrespected him. So he doesn't want to have no type of communication with them at all. And he's taking it to the offense. But I tried to go back and watch the last episode. And it seems like the only person that when he told Corey that huh his his a ball Corey um Anissa said something about it's a throwaway ball who cares whatever so I don't know if the champs did say something negative that we didn't catch I didn't catch basically the reason why TL is that upset because he can't be why would he be taking out out on the whole team but did they say something while they was all standing up there at whisper and he heard what they said or somebody from his team told him that you know you know they they dogged you out or whatever but basically i didn't hear it but it seems like he's taking his revenge out on all of them but Corey was wrong for that because it seems like when g um T.O. was in the gym talking to Matt that he really was, like, trying to help Corey. He wasn't trying to be shady to Corey at all. He was going to give him another ball. So if if Corey would have took that ball from T.O., would Corey had actually three balls instead of two balls? Because he would have probably been better off if he had three balls than two, right? So I don't know. If that's the case, then, you know, Corey shot himself in the foot. And then 
we get to, you know, Bananas. Banana is calling shots. Banana basically is kind of like running a team. He's calling shots, telling, you know, what people what what people to do and all this other stuff, especially when they get ready to, you know, do this challenge, this um, gy gymnasium challenge, basically. And um, it got the monkey bars. It got a maze. You got to jump. You got to flip. It got, like, castles. It has all types of little boxes it has trampolines it has you know little set sa um a sandbox made of like you know cotton stuff and basically there's tags all over the wall and you have to pull off one of the tags as tags is worth five ten one point and whoever get the mini tags as, as they need to get wins who have whoever comes out with the most and then also the other team is sitting at the top and they're able to shoot like these these um tennis balls at you so if you get shot with a tennis ball you get tagged that means that you have been tagged and you're eliminated and that's it so um so since the champs won last um game the last challenge they get to see they get to pick who goes first who goes last so the champions want to go last because they want to watch what the stars do and learn and how to perfect their technique and J johnny banana says that to emily because i think emily wanted to uh at first go first or whatever i believe i, I could be wrong so anyways we go and T.O. nominates himself, and then Johnny Banana nominates himself, and, you know, Johnny Banana's chase after T.O. He said T.O. Is, is, like, chasing off, like, road runner, like, uh, a wall of buffalo, you know, with skill, with technique, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, and then chasing Rip Roth was, like, t chasing a homeless drunk. <laughs> I was like, yo, there you go, Johnny Bananas. But he actually did tag um, T.O., and he said if he was able to tag T.O., the greatest wide receiver, runner, you know, to him, he's a champ, you know, a, a even bigger champ. It's going to go down in history in his head. And he did tag him, so it is what it is. And, you know, T.O. wasn't happy about that. And so you get um, Zach, um, Bananas, and you get C.T. and they're talking or whatever because before, you know, the challenge started, um, T.O. says that he doesn't want anybody on the challenge to talk to him. He don't want to talk to any of them. Basically, I think after he nominated himself or did um, um, Bananas nominate it, you know, T.O. to go first. You tell me, people. And leave it down in the comments. And so... Um, Right after that, T.O. was just like, yo, listen, I don't, you guys don't say another mother sucking word to me. Don't speak to me. Don't say nothing to me. Act like I don't exist. And it was like, okay, whatever. It's all good. And so then, you know, Zach and Bananas and, you know, um, C.T., they up at the top talking. And it was like, yo, you, you keep, can you believe what he said? You know what I'm saying? That's what Zach was saying, what T.O. said about not communicating. And so then Zach also says that he believes that T.O. is intimidated or afraid of C.T. I don't think so. He might just not like him. I don't think he's afraid or intimidated by him. And it doesn't seem like T.O. is happy with what's going on because maybe there's not enough hot women there. You know, maybe it's not really a luxury house that they're staying in and things like that. Maybe he he was deceived about what, what he actually was going to be doing or maybe there's chatter going on in the house that we don't know because we know our champs can get in your mind they will brain mess you up and i think that's what's going on with t.o and t.o don't know how to deal with it because um he, maybe because he hasn't been in a situation like this where he's going to be physically challenged and then having you know ch champions from like mtv challenge show beat him it's not it's not a good look for him but he doesn't play football anymore. He retired, so what's the big deal? I don't know. But Corey messed that up. Corey left a major brain F on um, um, T.O. So we'll see what happens. And so I was like, whoa, you know, um, the the champs, the stars did terribly. They did, they did terrible. I guess the best one out of the stars was, you know, Romeo and um, Justine because Romeo actually did not get tagged and he actually did not get hit with the ball. He actually complete the whole challenge. And, you know, Matt was like, he's a, he's a, um, he's a good player. Like he's, he's really a star or whatever. And he's an athlete and, you know, um, not Matt, I mean, Wes, Wes actually fell when he was trying to chase, you know, um, <laughs> when he was trying to chase, you know, Romeo and actually fell. I was like, whoa. And then I was like, damn. 
And so, but we also learned that Matt and, you know, Romeo are friends and they like each other. I, okay, at least I'm not the only one because in the last video I was like, yo, I like Matt. I mean, I like Wes. And Wes, I don't know why I like Wes. It's just like his drama, his confidence, his coolness, how he just talks so arrogant. I don't know why. It seems like he's in character all the time. So, you know, Romeo likes, you know, um, Wes as well too. So we'll see how long that lasts. We'll see before I change my mind on Wes and be talking mad crap about him. But we'll see what happens. And, you know, CT did really good against Matt. Um, Josh didn't do that good against Zach, but Zach did fall. Zach busted his bubble, boy. He busted his bubble. He fell. <laughs> and, you know, um, a seat, I think CT... Yeah, CT actually, you know, CT actually tagged Matt or whatever. I was surprised, and Matt was like, yo, CT's a beast. He's a monster. You think he's supposed to be slow, but he actually moves really fast, and we know that from previous season that even though CT's big, he can still move fast. And um, Justine, she did really good for her team. Um, Sean didn't do that good, and basic, based on her being an Olympic player, I believe she's one of the Olympic players, her and Kim, I think. I don't know. And then, you know, um, Jenna's chasing down Sean, and she falls. They both fall, but it seems like Sean hit her head, but it, I guess she didn't because she doesn't have any concussion. She's not complaining, so a helmet must have basically, you know, protect her. Jenna jumps after her, falls down through these little bars, and she sprang her ankle. And I think in um, the last season of the challenge, Dirty 30, I said, wow, Jenna has never been hurt. I believe I said that on my video. If I didn't, I said it in my head, and I was like, damn, this is the first time I've ever seen Jenna hurt, and I was just thinking, like she's really is an athlete because she's never got hurt but now today or yesterday or whenever it happened she got hurt and she's actually going to leave and they're down two players now they have the drunken lush was being kicked off the show now jenna is about to bounce because she's not able to play because she has a, a broke her ankle is spraying or fractured ankle so she's not going to be able to continue in a challenge and so we get down to which team won. Was it the champs or was it the stars? The champs won. They won by 102 points. And the stars only got 72 points. It's actually like basketball scores. You know what I mean? When they start off 102 against 72. Like, you know. So it's just like, damn. So the stars lost. And it's just like, it seems like um the champs are coming out. They're doing what they're supposed to do. And, um. And plus, they're already practiced, prepared, because what they do for a living is they hustle these challenges, so they always stay in shape. You know, even CT's not in the best shape that he used to be, but he's still in good shape to beat the stars. And so, we get that, and so Zach is really sad that she's gone, but you know when that... um Jenna's go go is going to be going home. But what was real funny is when, you know, Bananas was, you know, trying to nurse Jenna. He was like, oh, I, I feel two heartbeats, basically saying he thinks Jenna's pregnant by Zach. It's a possibility if they to use protection and if she's not on birth control. So who knows? And I believe Jenna will want to actually have a baby by Zach ASAP because he will always be in her life. Because right now she thinks that she can't live without Zach and she loves Zach. But she has been living without Zach. But when she sees him, all them puppy dog films, all that love come back and Zach acts like he really cares and he's sad and this and that and Jenna ankle looks really bad and it's swollen I didn't get a uh, cut of that ankle but you know CT got 25 points that's some shit he got 25 points and I think Emily got 30 points I was like yo they killed it I think Anissa got 12 points maybe so the the champs are coming out the champs are coming to work I think Johnny Bananas got 31 points, I think, I believe, um, because it was it was just like watching the, the theatrics of them running and chasing each other, them shooting the ball. But I get to say one thing about the red team, their aim was good with hitting people with the tennis ball. You know, they, they got Anissa. I think they got Zach. No, Zach got tagged because was it Josh? Josh, Josh jumped over the trampoline and tagged them. That shit was fat. It was either Josh or it was uh, Matt. I think it was Josh, though. When, when he went after um Zach and when when Zach jumped over and was running and he and then so Josh flipped used the you know um trampoline flipped over and just tackled Zach I was like yeah that shit was dope um so and you know what's her name 
Ariane, she only got like two points. So like she did the worst or whatever. And so now they have to, who's going to be the MVP of the champs and the stars team. The MVP of the women team is going to be Emily because they're going to go into elimination and she's safe from elimination because it's the women elimination now. So on the stars team, they got to vote somebody in. So basically they're going to use, you know, something that the champs usually use sometimes they use on a challenge in the beginning of the challenge whoever got the lowest performing score actually gonna go in it's Ariane and she's trying to defend herself and say no but I did really good with on a defensive end so what's up and <laughs> and Justine was like no you didn't and I'm surprised Justine and um Matt are, are not that close on this episode I don't know who Riff Raff is really close to now but um we'll see what happens and um so she's going in, basically. But now they got news that Jenna's actually going home, and they don't know who to vote in. And then now we find out that Ashley is going to be going home because her father had an accident, and he was found unconscious for a couple of days. He's in the hospital. He's in a coma, but there's still brain activity. But they want to pull a plug, and so she can't she can't stay around, so she's leaving. So that's minus two girls. There's only going to be one girl left. And, I mean, there's only going to be two two girls left that's going to be Emily and Anissa. So are they going to bring in two other girls? Are they going to bring in another girl or what? How are they going to leave it? Because this is the question CT was asking, you know, the Miz while they was, and, you know, discuss, discussing, <laughs> discussing who was going to go up. And, um, as CT is asking Miz about these questions because they're losing women, you know what I mean? They're losing players, you know, due to things that is out of their control because one had a melt, a mental breakdown. She didn't have a mental breakdown. She's just a drunk and she shouldn't be around people when she's drinking. And, um, so as he's asking Miz this question, T.O. is doing the crying face with the tears down his hand, down his face. And so, um, CT didn't originally see it, but they let CT know what was going on that, you know, T.O. T.O. was doing the crying face. And then that's when T.O. and, you know, CT go in it. And CT was like, yo, you don't want us to talk to us. You don't want us to say nothing. But look, you're doing this behind my face, behind my back. Like, you don't want nothing to do with us. And he was like, what you mean? Yeah, because you guys disrespected me. And Corey disrespected me. And I was trying to help him. But, um... If in that moment I would like for um T.O. to say why he doesn't like them, that they say something negative as well, and that's why he's throwing their team to the dust. And he said he only cares about his team, the stars. And that's when C T throws in, like, you don't care about the stars. People barely even see you. They don't even talk to you. They don't even hang around your teammates. So if that is actually true, it seems like, you know, um T.O. doesn't want nothing to do with any of them. He's just like he's probably wishing that, you know, his life was a lot better than what it is now that he has to do these challenges. He's doing this challenge and he's around a bunch of people that basically he probably feel they're not on his level. Or maybe they're mad and mature. I don't know. Because he did talk about them drinking and partying while he was working out in the gym with um with um Matt. Maddie or whatever. So maybe that could be the situation. And so then he was like, I say whatever I want to say. You're not going to, you're not going to. So, so him and CT go back and forth. He goes, I could do what I want to do and say what I want to say and all this other stuff. And he was like, yo, you don't want it. And then CT was like, well, you, I, am I allowed to talk to you? No, I can talk to you. I can address you and all this other stuff. And CT was like, you don't even want to be here. You know what I mean? And he was, and he was like, yes, I do want to be here. Why don't want to be here? He was like, you don't want to be here because you lost $70 million. It's not my fault. You blew 70 million dollars and you got to be in this and compete in this challenge when you really don't want to and then T.O. got up he got upset he was like oh so you're gonna take it there you're gonna talk homeboy I'll mess you up this ain't no MTV shit you know I'll get at you like you the um security or whatever you guys better come and get this because this is gonna be on some real boy sh some real some, some real some real man stuff and CT was like nah nah whatever what you gonna beat me up what you gonna hit me what you gonna he was like, just because you're bigger than me and this and that doesn't mean like I'm gonna back down I'm gonna be scared and you know CT said earlier that that usually when he loses challenges or uh, he never go all the way far to the end is because he end up letting his childhood mind or being boyish or being angry and aggressive and fighting somebody he gets eliminated so he's trying not to do that anymore because he got kids to feed he got a girlfriend at home he ain't trying to do, be all up in construction work you know what i mean so because he's back to back from the dirty dirty to um champs versus stars and so t up to's all up in his face ain't nobody else saying nothing but you know um Anissa says a little something, and then Ariane, she says, come on, we're supposed to, let's focus on the big picture, but like Romeo, like, you know, um, 
Riff Raff, Josh, and Matt, they ain't saying nothing. Even Kim, she ain't saying nothing. And so, no, no, Sean ain't saying nothing either. No one's saying anything. And, you know, Romeo just got his head down or whatever. And he was like, this is, this is the evilness coming. And we can't, we can't lose sight of the big picture. Okay, preacher Romeo. And, um, you know, Balance was like, CT is not going to let him get the last word. It's going to go head to head. And so we end on that note. And so we see next, next episode is going to be some more drama. Some more drama. Anyways, peace. I'm out. Peace. I'm out. One love to all my peeps and my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. Peace.